another thing that really, really doesn't go well with us is funding. I mean, sometimes you have the idea to do some things, but I don't know if it's not finding the right channels to get the money from or to, I mean, know who to talk to to get funds. And um, we've realized that one other problem is that um, our chapter is mainly, or our planning chapter, is mainly focused in Accra. This is because we can't have regular meetings. We, I, I personally think meeting with your members, talking to them, planning, or having things to do is very important. Because you can't have a chapter that runs so long there and the internet or the meetings. Sometimes you really need to meet the people. You really need to meet people. You really need to know how this class is work. But you have to do all the things online. Not everybody gets these students online. So sometimes you need to, like I mean, find a way to have a gathering and you don't have space, you don't have nothing. Sometimes you go talk to people, it's quite hard. They don't even listen to you. They try, it's hard. So sometimes we work with other universities to see if we can get space from there. It's kind of like very frustrating. Then one other thing, people do not feel, do not have a sense of belonging. In, in, if I should explain, I was a Google student ambassador. And what we did as Google student ambassadors was to reach Google. But Google, even though Google does not pay, Google gives you the opportunity to have things to share with people. So people who join have a sense of belonging. They feel they have souvenirs from Google, and that's, that's what they can hold on to and say, I'm not a Google. And that's what we want with Wikipedia. If you can give us stuff that we can give out to people to really know. And I, I tell you, in a way, it's, it, it's, it's branding or it's marketing. Those people will serve as a working banner to you or a working poster to you. But if they can't have those things, then we can't, I mean, do our work very well. People want to have a sense of belonging and part of which media formation that. If they don't see those things, they're not going to be able to work with us. And I think um, if our chapter is given the opportunity, we will be able to like, do so much. Because we, we've been running regular competitions. Um, one of them that I, I particular won was um, a sandbox event where we were asked to create, like, I didn't even know what a sandbox, sandbox was, but I was editing from Wikipedia until I was told it, it's a platform where you can do all your free stuff before it gets to the state where you write the article itself. So we actually do something in the sandbox. I did it and I won. And it, it brought that thing out of me that I could also do something. I mean, I won. I was even a, a, a starter and I won that thing. So that got me into it. But sometimes you do these things and you win and there's no motivation. So somebody won, what what does it get? Get nothing. Right? But if you have something like a book that says we should get gifted like that person will appreciate it and want to be a part of it. What do you guys do? Uh, we started with uh, um, uh, seven people with uh, seven starting. Who wants to take? Okay. My name is Enoch from Ghana National Tourism. I wanted to say something about the challenges we face in Ghana. One of them is vandalism. Even though vandalism is a great challenge to the whole of the Wikipedia project, Wikimedia Foundation projects, that of Ghana is very serious. You see an information in Wikipedia, but purposely let me talk about Ghana's speech. The article about Ghana as a country. You go to that page, every morning you see that somebody adds a very big image. And then when you ask some administrators to protect it, they say, why do you want me to protect it? How long? When you say forever, they say, no, this thing has not got for forever. I think in Africa or in Ghana in general, we don't have like administrators on such projects. So when we need something to be done very urgently, we have to go looking for administrators one online. And then it takes a very long time to process those apps. Recently, uh, Ghana was in the news all over the country that uh, there was this cocaine something added to Ghana's speech. So the government and some people were removing it. So I was also online, administrators, I was calling on them, but nobody was coming. So when they do it, I revert. When they do it, I revert, and I said, no, I'm dying. Then I posted it on the list. And rest also was on an average, so you also say, it's tired, everybody says it's tired of it. Why can the page be protected from like anonymous years? So that's one thing I think as something so that we need administrators on this project, not only from Canada, but from Africa, who can contact very quickly. Thank you. Yes, uh, 
I'm um, also from Ghana, and uh, I'm glad the Ghanaians are here. With the issue of writing articles and vandalism, it's a big problem, and we don't know what the Wikimedia Foundation or administrators of Wikipedia are going to do. The article about Ghana, it's more than 40 kilobytes size. And on Wikipedia, the file sizes determines the amount of information on the article. Up to date, the article is still lying there, waiting for people to, under, to, to put all vandalism in one of I personally have repeatedly asked for protection of the page. At least it should be protected from um, anonymous people and people who are not auto-confirmed. Up to date, still the article is still there. Administrators are just there just to block it for one week. And when people also see that it's blocked for one week, they are after one week will come up. And we don't know when the page is going to be blocked. Currently, I have no idea. I got fed up, so I'm like, if they want to delete the page, you can cry. Because I don't have the means, I don't have the um, rights or the privilege to be able to protect the page. And those who have the privilege also are not protecting the page. So it makes the effort from the learning community useless. As in, uh, Enoch was saying, he changes, if someone puts it there, he changes, and so at the end of the day, no one is interested in editing. I would like to waste my time on an article that is going back and forth. Um, another issue with, uh, with Ghana is electricity power. Uh, we live in a country where it's, it's you see it's um, it's, I remember we did a program where we wanted to do a kind of edit on it, and before we realized there was this for our cut. So we couldn't do the edit on And everyone who came was had to go. So we have a big issue when it comes to electricity generation and people having the time to even go online and be able to edit. Because if he's in the mood to edit and there is no electricity, then he goes to sleep. Can you can you start with the the Misali and then we'll follow with the Safif at this time? Um, thanks for the presentation guys. Just a couple of questions I've got for you. Uh, uh, you. You say that some of the efforts that you've got, that you're doing, are not recognized because of you no know, official affiliation status with Wikimedia Foundation. Um, can you just little, elaborate a little bit on that? Is it your opinion that if you're a full chapter of Wikimedia Foundation, that people will take you guys more seriously. How far is your efforts to become a chapter um, going and what kind of barriers are you, are you meeting there? Can I answer that? <laughs> can we give it to, can we give it to uh, Douglas? Okay. Because there was a recommendation from you, Alexa, and then on the question, and then there was a question do you want to answer the Yes, I wanted to answer the question. Um, we think the official um, blessings from the Wikimedia Foundation is a good way for us in terms of moving forward. Because in Ghana, lots of things spring up every now and then. People coming together, doing all sorts of things every now and then. So when we go to organizations for like backing and for support. They need to see something something um, reliable, something substantial. I mean, we currently, wherever we go, we are seen as a group of internet guys who are editing on Wikipedia, which doesn't add any power to what we're trying to do. I mean, even if they see our initiative as something of importance, they don't see us to be any entity worth investing or sponsoring. So it gives us a little bit of difficulty when we're trying to reach out to many organizations. We have MTN, we have Globalcom, we have um, Tigo, we have all the six next networks in Ghana. All are capable of pushing money, whatever they got, into making things happen. But then we don't have the backing, we don't have the kind of um, sense of being an entity or any form of 
legal backing, so it makes it difficult. And we were thinking of going forward to apply chapter, uh, um, register ourselves as an organization. But when we go forward, we are not able to use the name Wikimedia simply, simply because we do not have the legal um, recognition from the foundation. And not getting the legal settlement in the country as an NGO also does not give us the opportunity to approach organizations who are able to um, invest in such an initiative, which at the end of the day keep, um, leaves us hanging. Because we are not able to use the name Wikimedia Ghana to register as an entity legally. Neither are we also able to approach them for support, simply because we are not a legal entity. And so we, um, we kind of stand still. The, this um, Wikimedia Ghana thing was started in January 2012, and up to date we've been able to run at least one project from the Wikimedia Foundation, a grant support, that is the Wikimedia Outreach in Ghana, and we've been able to do the Wikilabs monument successfully in the country. So at least looking at the guidelines for chaptership, we've been able to fulfill at least two projects successfully and which doesn't prevent us from. There's a third one, which is the Wikilabs Ed, which is ongoing in the country. So far, many pictures have been submitted. So we've tried three times, as I speak to you now, trying to get a blessing from the Wikimedia Foundation. However, it goes like that, and you never get anything in response. So it's a bit tricky when it comes to um, getting support, because we can't always depend on the Wikimedia Foundation for funding and stuff like that. We need to move from there. And if we don't get any blessings from them, then we'll keep on hanging like this, and no one knows when. Um, I don't know. Um, okay. well, one question, one comment. Um, <clears throat> with regards to power, uh, if the power goes off, uh, does the internet still remain on? So if you guys had a power solution, would you still be able to edit? Yes. Yes. So, we'll still be able to edit. So, so but, yes. But even the internet is a problem because you don't have. Okay. Oh, so, so, so the power is off. Um, you don't have the internet. Some, even, even if you manage to get the power back. Yeah. Right? Sometimes the cell sites also go off. That's, that's what I'm asking. I was wondering about that. Otherwise, you could just get a, like a battery and an alternator. Mm -hmm. And most of the times, thinking of we have electricity, we don't consider these backup options. Mm. So it happens like that, and we're like, oh. So, so it, it might be worthwhile just to get a, get a battery yes, and alternate yes, it, just, yes. just for that very purpose mm. we're doing it. Mm. Yes. And the other one is, like, is just a comment, and um, it's to do with vandalism. So I like to write a lot of articles about South African companies. Uh, one of the articles I wrote a South African company, I added a criticism section to it. Uh, companies usually don't like criticism very much, so they. So, they just, so I suspect that they were the ones who started vandalizing their page. Now, I'm kind of a big believer in the process, so I quite like following the process of actually going to the administrators and saying, look, um, there's a problem with this page, these guys are removing uh, verified sourceable content for no reason. Um, it's a long process, yes, it takes it could take about a week or two weeks. But uh, once you follow through the process, it's, it's a good way of uh, stopping, stopping it from happening by cutting it off the source, because often it's only one or two vandals. And um, what eventually happens is if you go through the process correctly, um, and these people are persistent vandals, serial vandals, then you can block their IP address. Um, and that's and that has now stopped the problem on this particular page. And that is in the hands of an administrator, right? It's, it's actually in the hands of a typically it's in the hands of a group of administrators. So, so what you do is, is you take it to a particular page where you, where you register it as, you know, this, this, I want to get this basically semi-protected page for this, this reason. And they look at it, they're semi-protected, um, see if the van then goes away, then they're unprotected, and it happens again, you put it back on. So, so you've got to be on the ball, you've got to sort of maintain it. And then eventually, if it's, again, if it's a serial um, vandal, then they'll often just block the IP address. And that is, I found that that is what has often solved the problem. Well, it's not so bad. <laughs> it is, uh, I'll just suggest it, uh, giving it a try. Sure. I'll follow it for you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to add another comment uh, with the recognition and, and uh, uh, you know, the weight that carries. 
Uh, I would go even further that for countries and, and representatives that are here that have no chapter and that have no hope of getting a chapter, uh, then there is the need for some official recognition from the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, I've seen that all over Africa there is, a, there is a, say, there's a love for titles, there's a love for official things. You know, and in a, yes, in a secondary school, I can come with my Wikipedia ambassador T-shirt. That's fine. Uh, as soon as I'm talking to a politician or to a UNESCO representative or something, they know that ambassadors don't wear T-shirts. So they, they know that's nothing official what I'm having there. And uh, sometimes, uh, even on the on the paper trail, sometimes it would be good if I could attach a copy from the Wikipedia Foundation. I was suggesting that years ago already, I, I don't know, I spoke to the, I think it was Foundation Sophie Osterfeld or something, um, and I suggested that years ago that we need for the time being that we have no chapter, we need some sort of a title, and what I was suggesting is, say, for a year, that you become a person or a group, becomes the Wikipedia representative, say, in Namibia for the English Wikipedia. So that we have a matrix saying, all right, for 2014, because we have to put a chapter and we trust you for a year, uh, we list you, Peter Gallard, as the Wikimedia Foundation representative or some sort of community representative for a particular project, in this case Wikipedia, and for a particular language. Uh, because typically you're not active in 10 or 12 languages. So that you can at least say something, and then the then Wikimedia Foundation keeps a website where you can look up and verify that. Where you can say, all right, who do I talk to if I want to talk to uh, Oshin Donga Wiki News? So that you then have a, a table and say, all right, uh, Oshin Donga, that's in Namibia, representatives, this and that, talk to that guy. But it, it's important that it's a two-way process because, you know, with the little Wikipedia sticker that I'm carrying around, uh, I cannot kind of create much uh, much official aura uh, around that kind of thing. If, if there only would be a website from the Wikimedia Foundation confirming that, I know there's issues with, with, with identification and, and, uh, and, and stuff, but maybe one can make it for a short period saying, look here, editor, for, for 2014 or even for, for half of 2014, I trust you. And, and, and people should talk to you if they want to develop Wikipedia in your country or whatever. That would, would be very helpful. Thanks. Okay. Um, I will. I will lastly give it to the what is it again? No, Lawrence, and then close with you, sir. For I, I want you to throw an example of what you were saying. Uh, with the notes that I would not agree with the term representative, I agree with that we need a title or something, something. but representative would be better as well. I, I was surprised some time ago when Syria, the person we hired for uh, the Kumusha project, asked us for an official letter. We needed to, um, within the, the project, to meet some people from the prison in, uh, in the, the capital, I think. You already know these people. He's not an unknown person to them. You already worked with them. He comes to them as a staff person of an identified project with an identified organization. But still within this project, as a, as a staff member of this identified organization, he still needed a letter of intent with our stamp and, and signature and everything, even to do this. So uh, just as an example how it can work for some people who are unknown with a pseudonym, and no affiliation or whatever, they, I think they stand no chance. When we see that knowing the people, being a staff member of a known organization, it could not go through. I also think it just bottlenecks everything. You know, so it means that people who are trying to get something going. So the people trying to get something going can only then apply to get it happening through the Wikimedia Foundation. And so it bottles every, all of the, every effort is bottlenecked through the grant process. 
And I think, I mean, there are opportunities in their country, in each country, to make it happen and for it to be owned by that country because it's had local investment in it. But if you, everything's bottlenecked through the grant system, it then stultifies and to a certain extent frustrates people that they don't carry on going. So I, I think there are other considerations to an accredit, a form of accreditation that would then allow probably the Wikimedia movement a little bit more freedom. Okay. You said one thing that drew my attention. You said that there's a problem of people of the country. They don't feel that they belong. They don't belong. Okay. Uh, and you see that if you had, for example, goodies like t-shirts and stuff, you could attract them. What I'm asking is, instead, couldn't you maybe focus on explaining them the advantages in terms of, in terms of knowledge, in terms of self-development? Because, I mean, the risk is if they get into it because of goodies, how can they really contribute to really I'm doubting about you know, the integrity of Can I answer that? Yes, you can answer. Yeah. Yeah. Put, put it together. See, people want knowledge, people want to acquire knowledge because they believe life doesn't stop teaching until you like you're dead or something. Right. People want to go out and say, I'm part of Wikipedia. You know what I mean? Or I'm part of Wikipedia Foundation. That's what people want. But rather say something about them. It feels like it's just editing and editing. Okay. Um, once I mentioned before, we need a piece, we need administrators in Africa. Um, for that issue, I think it's not just a matter of appointment. It's about hard working. So if someone in Africa will be able to get a million edits in the next one month, I don't think they will deny us from getting administrators. It's a matter of meritocracy. So I have wanted to ask you to uh, those fields like teaching and analysis, they also help for the grantees. For instance, we got to the point that they were asking us what we were going for. Then we told them we were attending Wikipedia in our life. And most of them put it in Wikipedia. And perhaps if they had seen a t shirt or something, they might think of them like anytime they see something, they would want to find out or something. So it helps. You've been the South African University of Wikimedia Foundation. <laughs> and maybe the customs also do not know. <laughs> because they charge me about $500 for 50 t shirts, customs duty. $500. To cut that and since I'm on prep time here, I'm going to give it to Sir Asaf, then Sir Tusa, you can. Yes, um, I just wanted to say one thing. Let's try and keep the flow of the discussions through the chambers and then we don't go tit for tat and all these other things. Um, we're going to break for tea very, very soon. So can we have all those who are going to present after tea? I think it's two, two presentations from Tunisia and uh, Egypt. Can we please have your presentations during tea break, please? I think Asaf has... Asaf. I just wanted to briefly uh, comment on the recognition issue uh, from the Foundation's perspective. First of all, uh, to Ila's comment, grants have nothing to do, precisely nothing to do, with the recognition flow. The way to get recognized as an affiliate of the Wikimedia Foundation is through a volunteer committee called the Affiliations Committee, fondly known as AFCOM. They are all volunteers. They are not part of the grant making department. They're not staff of the foundation. Being an all volunteer committee, they are sometimes slow to respond, but they do respond. And the way to get recognized goes through AFCOM. I and my colleagues at the foundation have almost nothing to do with it. We sometimes, we yeah, sometimes have. Well, you said grant making is. No, no, is the That's not the only option for recognition, though. No, no, no. It's the only that's option for funding. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, okay. sorry I'm in charge. Sorry. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, to, but to make that clear, if you want to be recognized as a user group with Wikimedia, it is in fact fairly simple. It is. It does not quite conform to what you were suggesting, Peter, because uh, the, uh, the Affiliations Committee would not recognize a single person 
they do want to see a group, and they want to see that that group includes at least a handful of active editors, not just people who are generally theoretically interested in promoting Wikimedia. But if you have such a group, getting recognized as a user group is easy. You draw up an initial list of goals, you explain how you're going to make decisions in your group, and you get recognized. Our colleagues from Tunisia have just gone through that process successfully and are the first African user group. So it can be done. I'm happy to explain and to show and to give you links if you approach me later. Sure, thanks. Uh, I'm going to have to cut this now. Um, we're going to break. We're going to take a 15 minutes break. Now, this, 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 this that we're doing here was very important. We, we, well, we certainly didn't fly all the way to come here to just in, even find this time to call the schedule. So, though we are off schedule, but uh, we're still going to try and catch up with the time. We're going to give you 15 minutes break, and after, um, we're going to ask, can we please be somewhere around here?